Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I'm Lonnie. Hey, good morning. I'm Candace. Welcome back. You're looking kind of 80s today. Is that <laughs> what you're going for? No, I just I was frustrated with my hair, so I just threw it up. Frustrated? <laughs> really? What was it doing? I don't know. I think it's just this rainy weather. Oh, uh, it's been raining for like it's been raining for like it feels like two months solid here. It's I know that so the mayor this morning put on Facebook locations of sandbags. I'm like, really? So everybody's freaking out. But yeah, it's like been raining and it, every day it rains at least a little bit. Yeah. It's miserable. We mm. we have many we get the gra grass cut and all that. But anyway, today's Tuesday and um what do we have going on today? Uh today's garbage day. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a slow news day here <laughs> no we do have some more stuff to show you from our uh, pickups over the weekend we're gonna do that um it's a lot so i'm gonna get it laid out after he packs orders to show you guys what, what the rest of the stuff we got yeah i don't have a ton of orders to uh pull and pack today so that'll be coming up very soon and i saw you i see you working on thumper over there yeah my life is cleaning r rabbits or cleaning after rabbits or Fake, fake rabbits fake rabbits live rabbits what's that rabbit work do you know yet uh just found a comp for 15 dollars yeah so not not really uh a... well i mean what we pay for a dollar two bucks two bucks mm. yeah i don't know the yeah. only reason i picked it up was because it has disney parks on it and i know those will usually sell you know well i think 15 was probably worst case yeah whenever we pick you know I mean, you never know it could have yeah. been 30 or something or we could start looking every single thing up. We ain't doing that. Nope. <laughs> I figured if it wasn't worth selling, I'd just give it to Molly. <laughs> yeah, right. That's what. That's the. That's the problem you always run into. Well, if it won't sell, we'll just use it, or we'll keep I it, or we'll. Buy her a rabbit over the weekend. Look that's that. for Molly. Yeah. Are you gonna give that to her for like an event of some sort? Yeah, probably. I'm. I'm started like. This is my idea. I'm picking up Christmas stuff, and um, not like at garage sales. I've been buying people stuff. And I'm gonna get a bin going in my closet to just because sometimes I buy stuff throughout the year and then you I forget. For, I forget that I bought it. Yep. So yeah, that's my plan. But that'll probably be just like a stocking stuffer. She doesn't have that one. So. That, she's gonna like that one. Yeah. All right, let me go pull some orders. You go list your thumpers. Okay. All right. First up is a plaque thing that we have had in here for a long time. Y'all just. I'm just gonna have to pull it blind because it's way in the corner on purpose because we didn't want it to get broken. This is like a plaster plaque, as you can see here. And I don't need, I think we bought that maybe in Tennessee. No, estate sale in Hammond. Estate sale, what we get for that? Hopefully, not much. It, it was a couple think, bucks or something. No, I think we paid like five. Five bucks. Yeah, yeah, that sounds right. Yeah. Uh, sold it for $24.74 plus shipping on top. Okay, Joe drawer. We sold a... Joe's behind me. Sold some Lilith's Pet Shop stuff. Mama and Baby or something like that? Is that what it said? The monkey. Mommy and Baby Monkey. Right here. $15.29 plus shipping on top. All right, when you list stuff cheap to begin with and then you put it on sale, you can end up with some weird or some really low price stuff. Uh, let's see, six Bravo two. We sold two of these blueprints out of here. Believe it or not, most of these blueprints sold a long time ago for good money, but we have, I'll just add we do have some those. left. Oh, did you? Yeah, some of those are like this. I just added it like a few weeks ago. Okay. This Manta one sold for $2.74 plus ship. And then the other plans we sold were number six here. It sold for a little more. What did it sell for? $5.99 plus ship. And Tiger Drawer, we sold a Transformer. This guy must be. Is this the one you just listed? Yeah, this is him, I think. Sidekill motorcycle. Yeah, this is him. This guy sold for forty dollars and some amount. Uh, sent out a ten percent offer on him. It's actually a GoBot. A GoBot, so not a Transformer. GoBots are knockoff Transformers. They're like Transformers, yeah. 
That's right. I remember them coming out. How did they not get sued for that? Ford Delta was sold a VHS. That's something we don't we deal with very very little. But we're dealing with it today. We actually bought a stack of VHS or a bag of VHS at an estate sale. It was a fill a bag thing. Here it is. Fill a bag thing for five dollars, and this is one of them. This uh, copy of Goodfellas sealed sold for $19.99 plus media rate shipping on top. Nine Echo. These are some good shoes, I think. Just weren't a good buy. We paid, I think, $5 for these. There's another one somewhere. Oh, I see it. There we go. I think we paid $5 for these at a garage sale sold them ended up selling them on sale for twelve dollars and seventy four no yeah twelve dollars and seventy four cents plus shipping on top for these and for bravo we sold one of these electronic kits that i'm always buying <laughs> even though they're not really very very good profit margins i still like to buy them and you know what they still they do sell they just don't sell for a lot. But they sell. Here we go. This guy sold for 11 something. And I'm hoping people are actually using these and learning electronics. So, kind of the same reason I sell. I like selling chest sets a lot. Chest drawer. We sold a Batman Forever Gold Blaster. Something or another. I think it's these one of these I think it's this okay it's a, a small insert set actually yeah 10 cards $19.99 plus shipping on top for those and one more thing we sold an NES game called Hook it just sold a few minutes ago actually for I think it was like $9.99 I believe it used to belong to Katie. No, I'm wrong. $13.76 plus shipping on top for that. That is everything that's going out on a Tuesday. All right, I'm over here packing. Candace wanted to show y'all something. I'm raving on this doll hairbrush again. Look at the difference. That side versus that. Wow. That's yeah. magic. I know. Where'd you get that again? On Amazon. It's uh the brand is Sophia's. It's just a it's a doll brush. Um, usually, like for these dolls, you have to use either like a doll brush or a wig brush will work too, not just any brush. What's special about this brush? I don't know. I mean, it's got the it's got the needle tips, but they're real long and flexible. I wonder if I ought to use that brush because sometimes I come out here and my hair. Don't touch my brush. <laughs> <laughs> On five, Charlie, we did have an order, another order that just came in that I wanted to go ahead and get out of here because we've been trying to sell this thing for a long time oh it's under here this is a metacom batman i gotta knock the dust off the top of it uh that sold for 60 dollars plus shipping on top it's been for sale for a while we've gotten so many offers i finally sold it to somebody for 60 dollars plus shipping on top all right, we're going to talk about the rest of the stuff that we found on Saturday when we went out to garage sales. So my big score of the day was, guess what it is, American Girl. We can, we can kind of see it <laughs> yeah. behind you there. So everything you see here is included and plus all the stuff in these bags. I got all of this for $50. So I'm going to show you from here over is all American Girl branded. And then this is just to fit American Girl. So I'll probably just do this as one lot. Mm -hmm. These two bags are stuffed full of Build-A-Bear um, clothes and accessories, like branded Build-A-Bear. So some of that stuff can be really good. Like I have two capes that go to the My Little Ponies. And those are, stuff like that was sold separately. So sometimes they're worth money because they didn't actually come with the bear. They had to be purchased separately. So there's not as many out there. Mm -hmm. And then also at that same sale, 
I bought two Monster High dolls for a dollar each. I still don't know. Uh, I'm not well versed in Monster High. I need to because I see them all the time. One thing I do note if you're gonna if you're gonna look into buying them, their arms and hands break off really easily. Because they're really thin. Yes. Yeah. In fact, the girl had about eight dolls, and these were the only two that were still intact. So I bought those. But yeah, those were a dollar each. But everything else you see on the bench, fifty dollars. Okay, I'd say you killed it. Yeah, I'm really stoked. Um, I knew it was a lot, but this thing was jam-packed full, so you couldn't really see. And we we've just been pulling stuff out and just kept coming, because I mean, you can see these are packed. You basically got an IKEA bag full of stuff for fifty bucks, yeah. fifty-two dollars, I guess. Yeah. But, yeah. I know who this doll is. I'm not sure on her yet. Who is that? That's Sage. She's actually. I have another one sitting on my desk. Oh. Yeah, she was a girl. Of the that year. one right there. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, some really cool little stuff. We got like a skateboard, some branded uh, glasses, a bunch yeah. of clothes. And I'm pretty food. happy about this because I see these these kind of clothes. I don't know what these are worth, obviously, but I see whenever stuff like this sells, it's usually around 20 bucks. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, hell, we, you might be able to pay for all of it with this and the skateboard and everything else's profit or something like that. I don't right, know. right. That's awesome. So, yeah. okay, so this is everything we bought at that sale and then we have a few more things to show you i guess i can just kind of pull them out huh yeah well i tell you i need room for one of them so okay uh, let me pack all this up then. okay so we're going to show you the rest of the stuff from saturday and also a few things we got from the state sales over there at the end of the bench yeah, on sunday we're on a saturday yeah this is man this is a pretty pathetic little haul we're doing here huh yeah <laughs> well, we did show some stuff yesterday yeah but still it was a it was a pretty dry weekend. Oh, it was. We struggled. Um, uh, tell us about this box. Okay, so this is a cassette case that I bought for a dollar. reason I bought this is not for the case, but for the tapes that are within. The, just about every tape in here except for like these four up here. These are all blank tapes. Well, this one too. These are all blank tapes that are high-end metal tapes like this like this Maxell MX90 so I looked I did look on eBay not before I bought them like this is a Maxell XL2S90 and I don't know if these are concerts or what I may listen to a few of these I think it's, they're all classical music I know but I just don't do like here's Tchaikovsky I know it's just the fact that a lot of them have dates I'm kind of wondering if it's live before. if it's live or not yeah. But like you could see the this is another high-end tape which i've never even seen this before uh it's a tdk ma 110 and if you look on ebay at these metal tapes that's a tdk sa90 if you look on ebay at these metal tapes if you have them brand new uh you you have you really like some of these tapes brand new can even sell for like 30 40 dollars for one tape brand new and you could tell like look at this one this is a maxell xl 2s 90 look at that label on it like they just look expensive so i'm gonna sell i don't know exactly how i'm gonna lock these up yet but i'm gonna sell these um as blanks used blanks and there is a market for it tell them about that oh the little tabs yes Oh, I guess maybe that maybe, is important. Yeah, some younger people might not know, but right. uh, I did notice on a lot of the used cassette tape um, listings, a lot of people say ta uh, tabs intact. What they're referring to for you youngins out there that don't know, see these little tabs up here? Those are right protect tabs here and here. If you break those tabs then you won't be able to record on that tape anymore unless you fill the yeah. tab. If you look at like a pre-recorded tape, they don't even have the tabs. Yeah. So you can't really break, there's not a tab there to break. So. Me and Molly might so, like some of this music, some jazz. Yeah, we just gotta get her a cassette player. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I don't know exactly how much I'm gonna make on these, but I think I'm gonna do pretty well. Cause all, like I said, all these are high end tapes, except for these right here one dollar all right these are some sealed children's songs little genius 
looks like the full set because they were in this box so we pay did you pay 10? no i didn't pay 10. i offered five and she took it and i i don't i have i still to right right now i have no clue it looks like let's see it gets a six seven yeah eight nine ten, ten. i didn't see one oh. we're missing one that's weird okay. crap that sucks oh well oh. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's... anyway so you paid five for that yeah that's probably a bit all right buy. we bought this tray of flatware for three dollars now most of it is going to be tossed it's well those feel kind of heavy you see it Whoa. That makes sense. Yeah, that feels like a pretty nice knife. That's just a Martha Stewart knife. Okay. The tip is chipped off of it, though, yeah. on this one. Well, the reason I bought it, there is some... This is the flatware we already have listed, this pattern. So that's why I bought it, just to add to our listing of stuff. And It's not in quite as good a shape, though. No, it's not. And there's some other stuff in here, but it all feels pretty cheap. But anyway, that's why I bought this. $3 for everything. All right, that's all garage sale. Then this is a state sale, all from one estate sale we went to. Um, this is a where, um, wherever air. I don't know if you can see that. It says air under. Mm -hmm. um, the reason it's called air is because it's double insulated. It's like a pan inside of a pan, kind of like an insulated cups we use. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. So that helps for more even baking. Um, and then with the lid transport yeah with the lid you're looking at about 30 bucks okay for and that and i paid um 9.50 no I, yeah 8.50 yeah 9.50 okay and then i don't usually buy beanie babies but this was sealed and it's from a certain event super bowl in new orleans yep super bowl 36 so uh, there's there's a ton that not a ton but there's a lot on ebay that are not sealed in a bag i did find um where somebody sold one in, a, in the bag for 25 well 30 free ships so i'm gonna list it for 25 i paid two okay and then we have some more these are some mugs. just some school mugs that i i saw on the shelf i'm like eh, those are kind of cool i'll pick them up this is a pewter tulane tulane university mug paid four dollars for that MSU. That's Michigan State. Paid two dollars for this one. USL. Yeah, that's uh, University of Southwest Louisiana. Paid four for that. Old Dominion. Where's that at? 1930. I have no idea. Well, that's when it was start. I mean, hell, LSU was started in 1800s. Old Dominion. Oh, I was thinking that cup was from 1930. That's why I said. Paid four dollars for this. I honestly like. I think when I bought these, I was like just a little discouraged from the day, and I was like, "Well, geez, I gotta buy something." <laughs> Candace is gonna outbuy me. Oh yeah, it it was just a. So you paid four, four, two, and four. Yeah, so I paid. I'm into those for fourteen dollars, and they're probably gonna take about fourteen years to sell, but then uh, we'll make our money on them. <laughs> yeah. So that's everything we picked up on Saturday and Sunday. That's a that's a sad little haul. I'm proud of my haul. You should be, yeah. You, you made you, you made the great buy on the American Girl. Now we talk about this all the time. A lot of sourcing is luck. The sale had just started. We were one of the first ones there. Probably the first one to walk into the area where the stuff right. was. So it's all about timing and luck. Not all. You have to know what to buy, but a lot of it is timing and luck. Yeah, because Amer people buying them, American Girl dolls are not a secret by yeah. any by any stretch. Right. It's probably. It's just it's very similar to like video games. You, mm -hmm. When you if you if you're looking for video games, you're a garage seller. You're probably gonna have your best luck in the morning. And you're gonna I have know, your... the one I just I listed one just a little while ago, and that was where we bought all the beer steins yesterday. And that was kind of late in the day, and she was just still sitting on the table. Um, now she was kind of rough looking because her hair needed to be brushed. Well, we need to keep on making videos about these American Girl dolls until we can't find them anymore. That's our <laughs> that's our mission here. <laughs> have the whole world looking. For yes, them. <laughs> everybody get buy American Girl dolls so that so we'll tank we'll both simultaneously tank the eBay market and cut off our supply. No, trust me, the eBay market <laughs> is full of American Girl. Candace just picked that bear up to list it. We're actually listing that stuff we just showed y'all. Um, Unfortunately, I'm missing volume one of these friggin' CDs. I still think I can get twenty dollars for them. Uh, people do actually sell these individually. I'm not interested in doing that though. 
Um, Candace did research that NFL bear over there. And I was thinking it was New Orleans bear for New Orleans Super Bowl. Like when New Orleans Saints were in the Super Bowl. But that's when the Super Bowl was played. In 2002 in New Orleans. Between the Patriots and the Rams. And the Rams. And that was actually Tom Brady's first Super Bowl. And New England's first Super Bowl win. Yeah. So yeah. that's why it probably has some value because of the connection with Tom Brady. That's what it is. So, okay. I almost want to keep it. I like Tom Brady. I almost want to keep it. I know you like him. You know why I like Tom Brady? Why? Because I'm only, and I think of probably a lot of dudes are like this too. He's only four years younger than me. So <laughs> as long as he's still in the league, I'm not that old. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, I seriously, like, that's how pathetic I am at this point with age. Is Tom Brady's still playing? I, I could still be, I could play, I could still be playing. I could have played in the NFL till four years ago. I'm not that old. Yep. Right? Yep. Even, <laughs> even though he's like the only one that ever did it. I know. <laughs> and don't, don't come at me with this kicker stuff like Bland and all these guys. I don't care. That don't count. <laughs> Candace, you gotta tell me what you just told me again for the camera. <laughs> so I bought those two monster eye dolls, and it, it didn't even register that that's a boy, and they're called Monsters. Oh my god. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so that's a, so that's a. And he is dressed like a male stripper because he's what. He's missing part. Wait, what is this monster hide? <laughs> he's missing part of his clothing. What is the monster? What is? I'm sorry, these Monster High doll things are a little weird. They're very weird. <laughs> <laughs> Look I at think that. I think when I was a kid, I would have liked them though. Not me. Oh my God. Of course, I didn't like dolls, but still. That's a dude? Yeah. What a nice waist. You've been training your waist there, Monster? What well, a weirdo. He, he's a werewolf. He gets around. Yeah, but his waist? Look at his waist. He's probably very physically active. He looks like he's very hungry. <laughs> that too. <laughs> So I wanted to show y'all this. Okay, so this is a return. I don't know. I don't know exactly what's going on here, because I test. This is a return for some headphones. All right, we're talking like Sony headphones, just like headphone radio set. And I tested these things. So, but maybe I didn't test them well enough. But look, this is the return that got sent. This is a first class return label, and look what they put in here. It's like. They decided not to use the box I mailed them in. And then they just threw a bunch of trash in here. And I guess here's the headphones. Yeah, I'm surprised what was delivered with the first class Look label. at this. They just put whatever. <laughs> Look, a bunch of like junk mail. And... What the hell? This is crazy. So I guess I'm going to open these. Man, I'm really wondering if this is... Uh... This has got to be le not legit. Let me see. Well, I just tested them, and apparently I didn't test them quite good enough whenever I first listed them, because uh, one side was cutting out every now and then. But this packing job, come on. Let me go refund these people. I already tossed these things in the garbage. They're just not valuable enough to screw with anymore, especially after they burned me once. Wardrobe change. Forgot to film a closer. So this is us saying goodbye to y'all. And we will see y'all again very soon in the next one. Bye, y'all. Bye.